Congrats on your new ride. This video will show you how to assemble the Swift Max e moped. Opening your storage compartment. All of your accessories are included in your seat compartment. Remove your keys from your handlebar and insert your key into the ignition. Then turn the key to the left, lifting the back of the seat to access your storage compartment and all the accessories stored within. To close the compartment, press your seat until it clicks back into place. Attaching rear view mirrors. Identify your left and right side mirrors. Slide the plastic sleeve up the mirror's arms. Insert the side view mirrors into your e-moped, ensuring the mirrors are facing you when seated. Tighten the hex nut using your multi-purpose wrench and sliding the plastic cover over the hex nut when complete. Turning on and off your e-moped. Open the storage compartment and locate the green battery switch for the e-moped. Flip the switch to the on position. Close the storage compartment. Insert your key into the ignition and turn the key to the right to turn on your e-moped. It is recommended that you turn off the green battery switch in your storage compartment if your e-moped is parked or not in use. General functions. To sound your horn, press the horn icon on the left. Your lights are controlled by a switch on the right side. The three settings are headlights, safety lights, and lights off. To switch your headlights between high and low beams, your headlights must be on. Press the green switch on the left to choose between headlight settings. When clicked down, your high beams are on. Unless otherwise necessary, you should ride your e-moped using low beams. To activate your turg signal, pull the turg signal switch either to the left or right. To turn off your turn signal, toggle the turg signal switch in the opposite direction. To activate your hazard lights, press the green button on the right until it clicks down. To deactivate, press the green button again. Press your parking brake button on the right side to activate the parking brake. A red P will appear on your display indicating your parking brake is on. Press your parking brake again to release the parking brake. Your LED will display ready. Your e-moped is now ready to ride. If your LED display shows an error that does not allow your e-moped to function properly, press the emergency assist button on the right side. This will allow you to ride your e-moped to a safe location at a very low speed. This feature will only work for a short distance. Inflate tires. Make sure to inflate your tires to 36 PSI. This means pounds per square inch, and it's a unit of measurement for air pressure. You can check this with a tire gauge. If you need to add air to your tires, the max requires a compressed air pump to fill, which you can find at a local mechanic or gas station. To park your e-moped, lower your kickstand and grip your handlebars. Next, pull backwards while pressing your heel against the kickstand until the moped rests securely on top of the center kickstand. To disable the kickstand, grip your handlebars and roll your e-moped forward until the kickstand snaps back into place. If you're new to e-mopeds, we recommend having a professional check your work before your first ride. Contact our customer service team for a list of authorized repairs professionals. But first, be sure to scan your QR code in your operation manual to register your e-moped and activate your warranty. You can locate your vehicle's serial number on a white label affixed under your display near the footrest. Lastly, get moving and have an awesome ride. If you have any questions, reach out to the support line at 833-747-4631 or email us at hello at rideswift.com. We're here to help.